open day for the doctoral training center of the University of Southampton's Institute for Complex System Simulation. World class, the first of its kind in the UK, it showcases its unique qualities. This open day attracts students from across the world. On offer, a four-year fully funded PhD program in complex system simulation. Complex systems pervade pretty much everything that we do. Um, this ranges from, for example, the interactions of drugs with, with protein, protein molecules in our bodies through to the recent financial crisis as an example of a complex system where, where effects that might not necessarily have been predicted have, have fo followed through the, the financial system and had quite large and, and unpleasant outcomes for us all. So they pervade everything, um, ranging from, as I say, drug design through to power generation through to the financial industry. Southampton really is nationally leading, it's probably one of the biggest European players in complexity science. So we have a critical mass of staff who have complex system skills. We have a physical site where our students are co-located and can get to know each other, can work together. And we have uh, sort of modeling excellence across the entire campus, across this range of complex systems target domains, from ocean systems to biomedical systems to cellular systems to transport systems to financial systems. So really, we bring together at Southampton the sort of key pieces that you need to support this kind of cutting edge research. The fascination is that for some systems, we just have no other way than to use a computer simulation to predict what they do. We just wouldn't know what to do otherwise. The computer will spit out rows of numbers, and we have to plot them and do something with them. But it's the only kind of information we can get at all. And that's fascinating. Year one of the four-year program is taught with core and optional modules at MSc level. Years two to four are PhD research. An introduction to study at the Doctoral Training Centre for Entrance from Professor Seth Bullock. The idea is that by the end, what they've got from their PhD is richer, deeper, broader, more significant, and that it acts as a springboard for their career. And a big question from Dr James Dyke. We are inhabitants of what is arguably the most complex system in the known universe, that's the Earth, and the Earth is very special for a number of different ways. Why is it the way it is, and why is it not a dead, lifeless planet like Mars or Venus or something else? So how does anything complex get started in the universe, and how does it persist? Most DTC students are fully funded by the EPSRC, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, and the University of Southampton, including fees and an annual living allowance of £16,500. A DTC student panel takes questions on the academic experience. What was it that made you choose this four-year version? And I think you can't underestimate the importance of the first year and, and the, the, the whole gathering. Because we're only sampling this system, yeah. when we carry out this uh, perturbation to the other, we are assuming that the, uh, the configurations in this system are going to be similar. This is a completely new way of PhD study. It's not the supervisors who define the research project and supervision. During their master's year, DTC students choose their own field and select supervisors to advise and monitor their work. Current DTC students like the flexibility it offers. I think the DTC is absolutely fantastic. Um, I particularly enjoyed the first um, taught year, which uh, enabled me to get skills that I would have had to have got anyway on a PhD, but I would have had to have wasted my research time to get those. The best aspect of it is basically the intellectual freedom that you have in the programme, because you're free to explore essentially any problem or any way of solving a problem that you've come up with, as long as it's not completely insane and you'll know because your supervisors will keep you on planet Earth in that respect. I found it really exciting because it's really allowed me to explore something that I'm passionately interested in. I've been able to design my own PhD um, myself, working with um, the organisers in the DTC um, to create something that I, I know that in three years' time I'll still be excited about. The thing that drew me here, as opposed to some of the other programmes I looked at, in, including some of the other DTC programmes, um, was really the mix of the taught first year and, and the style of the taught first year really and then the PhD study that, that follows it. This is exactly the kind of multidisciplinary thinking that is going to solve the, the, the biggest problems that we're facing at the moment and so really it's unique in that respect.
This was an open day for potential new recruits to the DTC, and those potential new recruits like what they've seen. I think that first year provides such a great opportunity to explore to different disciplines and speak to lots of different people in different areas. Um, so that definitely draws me to this. It ties in well with what I've done so far, but it also allows you to do something very interdisciplinary as opposed to being, being pigeonholed into one particular um, genre. Right? The University of Southampton's Institute for Complex System Simulation Doctoral Training Programme the first of its kind in the UK. World-renowned staff drawn from a huge range of disciplines. The UK's biggest university-owned computer cluster. 10 million pounds of fully funded studentships. DTC partners include some of the UK's top companies and government organizations. A university at the heart of a vibrant city. A final reason, perhaps, for choosing the University of Southampton's Complex System Simulation DTC. It has dedicated study and social facilities, as explained by first-year DTC student turned tour guide, Leo Joffe. Welcome to the DTC space. Um, this area doubles as a common room and as a place to do some work. Uh, space is really at a premium at the moment in the university, uh, but this is just ours uniquely and there's a lot of very reasonably priced caffeine as well. So we spend a lot of our time in here either doing work like these guys or socialising. A unique opportunity, wide choice, individual talent and direction, but support from fellow DTC students and guidance from tutors and supervisors. This is the Institute for Complex System Simulation at the University of Southampton.